What's good? We back. Boxing Clinic. Another day, another grind and shine. Um, Terrence Crawford is has an HBO date for May 20th. Um, Omaha, Nebraska. Um, you know, he fought John Molina last time out. Uh, and you know, he wasn't even supposed to fight on that date. You know, from the point he fought uh, Postal in July, he shouldn't even have a December date. December date came upon because Golovkin and Jacobs never, you know, articulated a deal and never matriculated, never, never came concrete. So that negotiation, you know, lasted on, you know, well beyond the date that, you know, HBO would like. Um, they gave the date to Terrence Crawford, and I guess the best guy available was John Molina. The best ticket seller that, that could move some tickets was John Molina. And understandably so, that fight went on. You know, he beat Molina. Yeah, it was a soft touch, but he just came off of a great, tough battle with uh, Victor Postal. Um, and now he's coming back May 20th. I think that's a little bit of a long layoff for me, uh, especially a guy like Crawford who likes to fight at least three times a year. But uh, I'm glad he has a date. And uh, according to Dan Rayfield, it sounds like it's going to be Felix Diaz. Um, I respect the hell out of Terrence Crawford for taking this fight because he didn't have to take this fight. Uh, we uh, we know that Felix Diaz is a, is a Dominican uh, a, a Olympian, a gold medalist. Uh, I think he got knocked out in the Pan Am games before that in between those Olympics uh, games. Then he came back and won a gold medal, so he's very resilient. And his skill level was very, very high. And he's he, he, can, he can win this fight. You know, um, the one thing that's probably hurting him, he lacks pressure power. And he's very short. He's 5'5", five, five, but he's a very good boxer. A lot of speed, a lot of skills, and he's very coordinated. You know, it's a possibility that he could win. Uh, Crawford, Bud, didn't have to take this fight. Could have went an easier route. Um, but he took this fight, and he, he's showing a throwback mentality by taking this fight. Um, it's a good fight. One says a pick him 50-50 fight. Uh, more of a maybe 58 to, you know, whatever's left type of fight. 50, 47 or 46, whatever the hell it is. Um, but it's, it's going to be a high skills match. It's going to be a boxing purist um, dream. We're going to.